In this tutorial, we are going to code an access to client based on the Visual 2 Java approach. We are going to connect to a high score service, which we have created in previous tutorials, where we have shown how to create a web service based on the Java 2 Visual and the Visual 2 Java approach. Right-click in the Project Explorer panel and pick New – Project. Now select Maven Project and click Next. Check Create a simple project option and click Next. This creates a basic Maven project structure. No archetype selection is needed. Enter Group ID and Artifact ID. Select Packaging. We need the project to be packaged as a jar file. Click Finish. Here's our project. OK, we have an empty Maven project. Now let's generate a client code from a Wisdom file with an access to. We are using the Wisdom file from our previous tutorials. You can download it under this video on idqdis.com. At the beginning, we need to place a Wisdom file in our project. I choose the main resources folder. I'll create a Wisdom folder here. Now I need to copy a Wistel file to my newly created folder. OK, it's here. Now let's take a look at the pom.xml file. Here you can see a basic configuration used to generate a web service client code from the Wistel file. We are using the access to Wistel 2 code Maven plugin for this task. We are running a Go Wisdle 2 code. The NPack classes parameter is set to true so that we can see the generated classes code. Here we have a package name in which we want our stop to be generated. And here is the Wisdle file which will be used to generate our client code. Now let's run the generate sources Maven phase. It has ended successfully. In the target generated sources directory, you can find client classes that have been generated. This is our web service client code. These two classes, high score service and high score service stop, are the ones that we are going to use while connected to the web service. OK, we have generated client code successfully. Now we need to update our Eclipse project configuration, so that working with the code is nice and easy. Configure resources in your pom.xml file. Enter pass to the resources directory that can be found in the target generated resources directory. Enter the standard resources directory of the Maven project structure. Next, enter project dependencies. Access to XML beans, which is a technology for accessing XML by binding it to Java types used by Access to. The Axiom API, which is an XML InfoSet compliant object model implementation supporting on demand object tree building. Axiom Impel, the Axiom API implementation. Wizzle 4J, which allows the creation, representation, and manipulation of Wizzle documents. Nithi, which provides a general framework for programmers to use WS policy. Access to Transport Local, which includes all available transports in Access to. Access to Transport HTTP, which takes care of sending and receiving SOAP messages over HTTP. 
XML schema, an object model used to manipulate or generate a schema, and JUnit used to run unit tests. Now let's run MVN Eclipse, Eclipse command. Right-click on your pump.xml file and select Run, and then Maven Build. Select the one which ends with three dots. In the Goals field, enter Eclipse, Eclipse. Click Apply and then Run. Done. Now refresh your project. In the next step, we will write a unit test to test our client code. This code will connect to the web service and will call some operations. Have a look! Here is my unit test code. Each method is annotated with add test annotation. I have four methods here. Each one tests one of the web service operations. I will show you the one which tests get high scores for nickname operation. Here's our stub variable, which is one of the type high scores service stub. This type was generated by access2. Here we create a new stub object. Now we need to create a request document. This variable has a type of get high scores for nickname document. This type was generated by access2. We need to use the new instance method of the generated factory class. Next, we create a request object, which is of the type that was generated by access2 as well. Now we set a string value of person3 as a nickname in the request object. Next, this request reference needs to be set in the request document object. Now we create a response object of the type generated by access2. And here, all the magic takes place. We just call a stubs get high scores for nickname method, providing a request document reference as an argument to the call and set in return response document reference to our variable. This is how we call a web service operation using a stub object. OK, now we need to get returned data from the response document object. Just call the get high scores for nickname response method. Since our web service operation returns a data collection, we need to call a get return array method of the response object. This method returns an array of resulting objects. This high score type is a complex type which is generated by access2. This class consists of a nickname which is a string and an integer which represents scores. Now we only need to iterate through the results and display them. Isn't this easy? Now let's test our solution. Let's see what happens when we connect our sample web service. I will use a service created in the Access2 Wisdel2 Java approach tutorial. Have a look! I need to start my Tomcat server. It's up and running. Let's see if my web service from the previous tutorial is working. I'll navigate to localhost 8080/access2 and navigate to Wisdel file. Yep, it's here. Now we need to call mvn test command. Right-click on the pom.xml file, select Run as and Maven test option. My solution is compiling.
Here is the test section output. Here is the result of the get high scores operation. These are all the get high scores held in our servers. And here is the result of our get high scores for nickname operation. Okay, that's all. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Take care and take ID easy. Thank you.